Today we're going to be talking about how we can have a 10x workflow in Godot. So the setup for this, let's go to our editor and project settings, and we're going to set the keybinds so that we can edit the rest of our shortcuts. So to set the rest of our keybindings, first we'll go to editor, editor settings, shortcuts, and down here let's set this to control K. And then we also want to set our project settings. So I have mine set so that I can use control P or control J, but if you want a different one, you just press the plus button. We also want to be able to test quickly, so we're going to use the same button to start and stop the game. So I personally use control B. Default ones are always on the left side here. So if I just press Control b to start the game, and it's here, and then I can press Control b to stop again. Very quick to test. We want to make edits in our code. We can move lines around. I have mine set to Control shift up or down. So for example, if I have this line, Control and shift and then press the down arrow key, I can do that to move this line to wherever I want to. Control shift up to go upwards. We can also change the capitalization. I have mine set to Control l for lowercase and Control u for uppercase. So for example, if I highlight this text here and do Control u and then I can do Control l to make it lowercase. Find and replace is also very useful. So if you want to replace in all files, you can do Control shift r so I will replace this text here. I'll press replace, and then I have to replace all, no undo. Be careful though, because this is not intelligent. So if I replace the word main, that would replace main in this variable as well, so just be careful. Next we want to be able to show more of the editor at once. I personally use control E for this, so this coding editor is kind of small. If you press control E, click to toggle this. So compared to this, I prefer having this much space. Next is being able to close certain tabs. So for example, if I open up this one by pressing Control and click, then it opens up this nice documentation. Press Control W to close out of that. Next is hiding the output. So that's this setting here. I press Control K to open up the editor settings. Go to the output. I'm searching it here. This one is very useful. This is what makes it so that when I run the game, it might show whatever output I have, but then when I stop the game, that closes. It's not taking up my screen space again. I don't have to click down here. Next is easily switching between the script editor and the 2D editor. So I have my set to F1 to go to 2D view, F3 to go to scripts, and here's an anti-helpful thing that's built in. So there's a keybind to quit, but I don't want to accidentally press this and quit out of my game while I'm working, so let's unbind that. I hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks for watching.